there's a chance that the UC Federal Reserve will acquire ownership of XRP in the Ripple system in the coming days. This could mean that all retail XRP purchases would be prohibited and that Ripple Labs technology would take the place of the current financial system. The rapidity of these changes is demonstrated by recent moves taken by Ripple, most notably their large buyback of XRP. Only a day ago, it was reported in a post that Ripple Labs has started buying back almost 1 billion XRP from its circulating. This is a big step that demonstrates Ripple's dedication to solidifying and bolstering the status of XRP supply. I'll reveal the estimated price at which the U.S. Federal Reserve may contemplate repurchasing XRP in the upcoming video segment. This information is supported by evidence that gives these assertions strong credence. Keep checking back as we go into more detail about this possibly revolutionary breakthrough in the fields of global finance and cryptocurrencies. Ripple, before we dive in, please give it a solid thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and toggle on notifications. A major development in the financial sector is the U.S. Federal Reserve's proposal to potentially take ownership of XRP and work closely with Ripple Labs. This news has gained traction, especially as Ripple steps up its efforts to buy back XRP, which is contributing to a declining supply of XRP on cryptocurrency exchanges. Many see this as a clear sign of a major shift in the market with some analysts, such as those from Blood or CPS, suggesting that this could be a strong signal for a spike in the value of XRP. The Federal Reserve has previously expressed interest in this field, and there are even articles, including one from Google, that specifically discuss the Federal Reserve's intention to adopt Ripple's XRP as a global payment solution. This news has uh, fueled speculation about a potential collaboration between the Federal Reserve and Ripple Labs. The announcement made by Ripple Labs about a day ago about their plan to buy back almost 1 billion XRP from the circulating supply has fueled speculation as part of their larger goal. Ripple also plans to repurchase XRP through a program known as the Ripple Buyback. This seems to be an attempt to move XRP from individual investors to banks and institutional investors, concentrating its value and utility in the hands of large financial entities. Such actions by Ripple and the potential Federal Reserve involvement are changing the environment for XRP. In addition, the Federal Reserve and Ripple Labs have a close partnership. These two organizations close ties to one another point to the possibility of further integrating XRP into the mainstream financial system in the future. A report titled Federal Reserve Partners with Ripple XRP for Integration suggests that there is a chance for XRP to hit one ten thousand dollars this news was a game changer for me since it sent me down a study rabbit hole where i discovered an intriguing idea the buyback theory one of the most persuasive in the world of cryptocurrency today is in line with the current situation it centers on a suggestion made by val hill capital's managing director who is pleading with the federal reserve to contemplate repurchasing xrp at an astounding thirty five thousand uh, dollars token the full extent of the val hills buyback idea is even more outrageous it proposes that governments should repurchase all of the XRP supply from individual investors at a fixed price, which is an astounding $37,500 per token, as stated by Van Lee of Valho Capital. To arrive at this extraordinary valuation, the calculation for this figure involves dividing the total global wealth by the total asset supply of XRP. At the time of recording, XRP is valued at 60 but this theory predicts that XRP's true potential value will be closer to $50,000 than just $35,000. This is a huge step forward and an indication of the increasing awareness of XRP's potential in the financial sector. We'll play a film in this section of the video that goes into further detail about this theory and how it affects XRP and its investors. The price projection of $50,000 to $60,000 for XRP presents an interesting argument, especially since it is consistent with reports from several reliable news sources. A prominent business news outlet, Forbes, was once known for publishing material that was validated. The report claimed that XRP may replace Bitcoin as the next big thing with a potential value of 59,472. Even while this item was swiftly taken down after it was published, it caused a lot of people to wonder why it was released, especially when Microsoft's Bing and Google's Bard and ChatGPT both confirmed it. Rather than being a round amount, like $660,000, the specificity of the value of $594 adds to the intrigue that is supported by the analysis of multiple top specialists. These experts believe that XRP may rise to $60,000 or even higher 
possibly surpassing the value of Bitcoin. However, there's more to the story. Upon closer inspection of the data, we discover that the SEP alone is expected to facilitate over $1.2 quadrillion in derivatives market requiring an XRP price of approximately $10,000 to work with financial giants like JP Morgan, Goldman Sachs, BlackRock, and others to facilitate these enormous volumes in the derivatives market. Ripple recently joined the International Swaps and Derivatives Association. However, even these figures may be conservative estimates. Statistics show that more than 19 central banks have reported buying XRP, confirming its potential to soar in value. Altogether, central banks have bought XRP worth an astounding 9.4 billion year, but this is only the beginning. Uh, approximately 30 countries are currently looking to build their central bank digital currencies directly on the XRP ledger, meaning that in the future, the XRP ledger could be used globally. Just think of the volume of transactions that each country could facilitate every month. Now we can extrapolate that through the XRP ledger to 2030 or even 45 countries. These figures surpass what we have often seen or discussed, and they are all processed through the XRP ledger although this scenario may appear improbable. It is based on facts. The Federal Reserve is now in discussions with Ripple Labs to enable and repurchase XRP, mainly to gain an advantage over other BRICS countries like Brazil, Russia, India, South Africa, and China. The majority of the BRICS countries are already official partners with Ripple Labs, indicating their rush to adopt the XRP ledger and the RippleNet system. The Federal Reserve's similar actions further validate the technological superiority and demand for XRP the U.S. is actively engaging with Ripple for the RippleNet system, known for its cost efficiency, decentralization, and privacy in transactions to avoid being outbid by these countries. Uh, moving forward, I expect to see more buyback activities, not just by Ripple, but also by numerous other financial institutions all aiming to acquire XRP on a larger scale. Please remember that I am not a licensed financial advisor and that the content presented in these videos is purely for entertainment purposes. I always encourage viewers to conduct their research and consult with professionals before making any financial decisions. This growing demand for XRP coupled with its growing role as a key player in the global financial system necessitates a rise in its value. Thank you so much for watching. I'm thrilled to meet up with you in the next video. Take care. Uh, if you like the video, please hit the thumbs up and remember to turn on the alerts so you can be the first to know when I release new stuff.